Hello friends, today we're painting our porch here using the uh, Bear Premium Granite Grip Decorative Slip Resistant Concrete Coating. Um, I kind of washed the porch here, taped it off, and now I'm going to be doing uh, the first coat here. So, I'm going to pour some of this in there. Let's get some poured into our uh, this appears to be some fairly thick uh, paint here. Start in the back over here. Basically, you're just going to go around the edges here a little bit with the uh, This is going to be the first coat, so you do it kind of lightly, it says. This is kind of like a base coat. I just want to make sure I get my corners pretty good here. There's a lot of texturing in here. Once we do the corners there, I'm going to use a roller. be back. Alright, this is very important. Must apply with a quarter inch adhesive roller cover. That is true. So what you want to do is go ahead and grab one of these and it says specialty adhesive and epoxy. A quarter inch uh, 
9 inch roller so that's definitely what you want to do let's we'll see how this one works on here I'll show you more when we're done here. Alright, so... Kind of show you what I'm doing here. So this, uh... I just get a bunch of them here. is that it uh, it splatters I mean if, you're, if you got quite a bit there and you're going kind of fast it'll throw it up on your your siding and stick on those so just be cognizant of that and I'll be back here is the first base coat we got here it's is for two coat application so this is the uh, first coat There's some spots that don't have a lot of coverage there, but I think I can, it's just kind of more for adhesion than anything else. And once I get the, this one dries, let it wait for about three or four hours, and then put another coat on there. But that's what it looks like right now. Not the easiest stuff to paint on, it's got a lot of texturing in there. So, it's a little, uh, little difficult, more difficult than paint, but uh, we got it done. Took about oh, probably about 45 minutes for this uh, porch right here. Alright, I'll be back when I start the painting. Second coat. Hello friends, I'm back doing a second coat here. So I basically just went around all the edges real quick with a paintbrush. And I'm going to go over it with uh, the roller. So you see you got the edges. Show you how I'm putting this on here. Now that the first coat's on there, it's actually uh, coverage isn't too bad now. Just kind of put it on there. It goes pretty thick, pretty thick uh, substance here. So just kind of throwing it on there. Realize I could use a little bit bigger paintbrush, but. Uh, For the most part, it's just good enough for just going around the edges like I'm doing here. And I guess this one goes on a little thicker. First one I did really thin. Just kind of use it, it uses like an adhesive. And just going over here with this. You can see the difference between the first coat here and the second one is pretty much full coverage now. And, uh, go over this with the uh, roller and it should look pretty amazing. Gotta be careful when you're rolling around the windows and stuff. If you're rolling like towards it and not lengthwise with it, you can uh, splatter a lot of the, a lot of the uh, 
the paint chips and or it's got like chips in the paint so it's like more it's textured but you can throw it up on the wall there I actually have some a demonstration you can see right here little spots and stuff that's already dried on there pretty good so I'm gonna start with a roller and I'll be back okay start in this corner here and this stuff goes on really thick so I'm basically just letting it roll over the roller and I'm kind of smooshing it down here and just pushing it around basically this is really thick paint so once I get to the edge there just kind of rolling it trying to smooth it all out here Not the easiest stuff to work with since it is so thick, but just kind of see how I'm just working it back and forth here and tr trying to just smooth out the lines if there are any. But I want a nice, a uh, nice thick coat on here. So kind of see what I'm doing here, just uh, just rolling it around and where I got thick bunches, I'm just kind of pulling it to other spots like that, so that's kind of what it's looking like, it's looking pretty good now um, that's about it, I'll probably just show you the finished results okay, so this is the second coat just finished it so it's not dry yet, probably accounting for the different, uh, you know, darker spots and stuff. Um, I might have to do a third coat, I'm not sure. This one went out pretty thick and uh, looks pretty good. Let's get a close up here. It's kind of what it looks like. So. All right. So this is three cans. It's about oh six twenty by ten. So looking at about two hundred square feet. And that's what it looks like. Alright, here's the second coat, it's kinda of dried. As you can see the underneath used to be white and you can still see it through there. So I'm going to do another coat of white. This is the color it used to be, the porch step here. And that's the color it is now. So you can see the white uh, patch is still coming through after the second coat. So I'm going to do a third coat here. Alright, so we're working on our like third coat, I think. And I decided just to go with a paintbrush because... It's really difficult with a roller, and this is taking a while with a paintbrush, but um, you see how thick this stuff goes on. But you can actually get a good coating with the paintbrush and work it back and forth. Uh, with the roller, it's just really difficult to... So I'm just basically doing one little square at a time here, and back and forth, and smoothing it out. So it's really kind of it's taken me probably about six hours of painting so far and I hope this is the last one I'm thinking I'm going on the uh, fourth bucket or fourth or fifth can um, it's about fifty dollars forty dollars a can so this is stuff isn't cheap but it looks like it's coating it nicely now and hopefully it'll last a long time but I'm basically just doing little squares at a time and working that in okay so that's how I'm doing now um, I'm just kind of painting a little maybe like a little one square foot at a time and just kind of working back and forth and all around so that's what I'm doing right now this is like the fourth coat I did the third coat and it still had like you can see the underneath the gap so with the uh, paintbrush is going on nice and thick so uh, hopefully this is the last code thanks for watching
Oh, right, it's been a few days now, and this is pretty much the uh, finished product here. All I gotta do is pull the tape off and call it good. Right, hopefully. Hopefully, the tape comes off nicely. Hopefully the tape comes off. Come on. Oh boy, see this is gonna be fun. So um I'm just gonna pull it off and then show you guys. Okay. Here it is, all finished. It's about four coats of paint. And for this porch here, and the step, it was approximately, I want to say four or five gallons, so um, you kind of see the different brush strokes. I used a paint brush because, well, you guys saw it. It was pretty thick to put on with a roller. It wasn't really, it was difficult, so. It looks pretty sturdy, and it takes a little while to cure, I guess, about a month before you're supposed to wash it or anything like that, so that's what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, I'll be happy to uh, answer them as, much as well as